Ali, your offense was driven so much by Goldie and by Nolan for so much of the season, and they gave you such stellar seasons all year long. What are the challenges of trying to get this offense going in these two games without those two guys by March? Yeah, I think you answered the question. Um, th those guys carried us for the entire year. Um, they did a phenomenal job of not taking any at bats off. Um, and at the end of the day, um, baseball's tough. They had a tough stretch there at the end. Um, it's part of the game. Obviously, the timing of it isn't ideal, but uh, it wasn't a lack of preparation or competing. I'll tell you that. Those are ultra competitors that were given everything they had. So, proud of them. All the way back to spring training, you said that you know that every guy said that the goal was to get to the World Series, to have it come up short, especially for um, for Yachty and, and Albert. How tough is this? Yeah, it's tough. Obviously, uh, we're disappointed. Anything short of a World Series is going to be a disappointment for us. So uh, getting bounced out. Um, credit to the Phillies, they beat us today. We didn't beat ourselves. They they beat us. And. Uh, our goal was to win the whole thing. Unfortunately, we came up short. Um, that clubhouse is disappointed, but uh, we took our best shot. Front row on your left. Ali, from a personal standpoint, knowing how bad guys like Goldie and Nolan wanted this and wanted to be able to perform in this moment, how, what's the emotion and how you feel for those guys right now? Yeah, it's, uh, it's unfortunate. I mean, everybody in that clubhouse um, is feeling it right now. It's a tough one. Um, when you know it's Yachty's last year and, and Albert's last year, there's this extra motivation to to deliver for them and do something special and, and allow that story to end with the with the championship. So um, it's obviously disappointing, but it's where we're at. Rick, was there one particular difference in the series that you can cite right now? I didn't look without having a chance to sit back and think about it a little bit? In what way? What was the difference in, in why the Phillies won and, and you didn't? And uh, we just couldn't produce offensively outside of a two-run homer from Yepi uh, off the bench. We just didn't put up runs, need runs to, to win. So um, we were in a tough stretch where our offense wasn't producing, and it ran into this two-game series as well. How big would it have been to get that run across in the first, get a, a jump at least on this game? And, and yeah, I mean, we've seen our club uh, score early, and it just kind of get the guys going. We saw that with New Tomer uh, several games back when our offense wasn't producing, and he kind of got everything going there and broke the ice. For at the end of the day, uh, we didn't score. It would have been, yeah, it would have been helpful um, to build off of that in that first inning. And I got one more, if you don't mind. How big did you think those defensive plays you made to cut down two runners and the, the one inning was going to carry over for you? Yeah, our hope was that we could build off that and and then offensively do something. Unfortunately, we just couldn't get anything going today. Yeah. In the middle. Can you, can you share some of what you told the team? <clears throat> um, yeah, I, I'll tell you this. Um, that's a respectful group, one that uh, – is full of veterans. I remember this was, I was watching uh, them retire Tim Duncan's number, San Antonio and, and Popovich. His main uh, message during that speech was he wanted to thank that, thank Tim for allowing him to coach him. And when I let that sink in, we have a veteran group that has done this for a long time. Some of them have been here a lot longer than me. And uh, the way, the respect they had for me and that staff uh, was meaningful. So I thank them for that because it allows you to set the culture for the rest of the young groups, that, young guys that are coming up. So that was part of it. Ali, what does it continue to say about Albert, that final two at bats, he, he came through in the clutch again, got base hits, tried to tried to keep the thing sparked and, and, and get something going for you? Uh, that he's one of the best hitters that ever played this game. He continues to deliver big moments. That's what makes him who he is. Did you get a sense that Goldie was pressing, uh, you know, swinging the ball in, in the dirt? Was he trying to get you going with his, with his at bats? Yeah, he. I mean, he wanted to deliver so bad for us. Um, you can see it. Um, it's 
part of his personality. He just wants to be able to, to come through in every moment, and he did it all year. So unfortunately, it didn't work out today.